We start by importing TensorFlow as TF, then we print the version of TensorFlow that we are using. We're using TensorFlow 1.5.0. In this video, we're going to use TensorFlow Reshape to change the shape of a TensorFlow tensor as long as the number of elements stay the same. We will do three examples to show how Reshape works. Let's start out with an initial TensorFlow constant tensor shaped 2 by 3 by 4 with numerical integer values between 1 and 24, all of whom have the data type of int32. So we use tensorflow.constant. We have our 2 by 3 by 4 tensor. We have the data type as int32, and we see the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 24, and we assign it to the Python variable tf underscore initial underscore tensor underscore constant. Now that we have it, let's print out the tf initial tensor constant python variable to see what we have. We see that it's a tensorflow constant. The shape is 2 by 3 by 4. The data type is in 32. Because we haven't run it in a tensorflow session yet, it doesn't seem to have values even though we just defined it as a constant. The same will apply to the other reshapes we're about to create. For the first example, let's go from a tensor whose shape is 2 by 3 by 4 to a tensor whose shape is 2 by 12. So we're going to use tensorflow.reshape. We pass in the initial tensor constant, and then we pass in the specifics of what we want the new shape to be. So it'll be 2 comma 12, and we assign the whole thing to the Python variable tfx1reshape tensor 2 by 12. Note that the number of elements will stay the same as 2 times 3 times 4 is 24, and 2 times 12 is 24. Let's print out the tfx1 reshape tensor 2 by 12 Python variable to see what we have. We see that it's a TensorFlow tensor. We see that the shape is 2 by 12, and we see that the data type is int32. It's not showing any values yet because we're still building the TensorFlow graph and we haven't run at any TensorFlow session. For the second example, let's change a tensor whose shape is 2 by 3 by 4 to a tensor whose shape is 2 by 3 by 2 by 2. So we use tensorflow.reshape, we pass in our initial tensor, and then we specify what the shape is going to be. So we pass in 2 comma 3 comma 2 comma 2, and we assign it to the Python variable tfx2 reshape tensor 2 by 3 by 2 by 2. Note that the number of elements will stay the same as 2 times 3 times 4 is 24, and 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 is 24 as well. Let's print out the tfx2 reshape tensor 2 by 3 by 2 by 2 Python variable to see what we have. We see that it's a TensorFlow tensor. We see that the shape is 2 by 3 by 2 by 2, which is what we would expect, and the data type is in 32. For the third example, we're going to change a TensorFlow tensor whose shape is 2 by 3 by 4 to a vector of 24 elements. And the way we do that is we use the tensorflow.reshape operation. We pass in our initial tensor, and here we're going to use a negative one. So what that's going to do is it's just going to flatten the tensor, so that's just going to be a list of 24 elements. We assign it to the Python variable tfx3 reshape tensor 1 by 24. Let's print out the tfx3 reshape tensor 1 by 24 Python variable to see what we have. We see that it's a TensorFlow tensor. We see that the shape is 24 comma. That means it's going to be a vector. The data type is in 32. Now that we have created our TensorFlow tensors, it's time to run the computational graph. First, we launch the graph in a session. Then we initialize all the global variables in the graph. In our case, it's going to be all the tensors we've created. Next, we're going to print out the four tensors to see how TensorFlow's reshape works. Let's print out our initial tensor constant. So we do a print session run tf initial tensor constant. We see that it's a 2 by 3 by 4 tensor. The numbers go from 1 to 24. And none of them have decimal points, so we know that they're in 32 numbers. Let's now print our first reshape tensor. So we use the print session run tfx1 reshape tensor 2 by 12. We see that it's a tensor that has two matrices inside of it. The first matrix has one row and 12 columns. The second matrix has one row and 12 columns. So all of our elements are there, 1 through 24. Let's now print our second reshape tensor, Python variable tfx2 reshape tensor 2 by 3 by 2 by 2. Awesome. We see that it's a tensor that has two interior tensors, each of which has three matrices that are 2 by 2. Perfect. So two rows, two columns, two rows, two columns, two rows, two columns, and then two rows, two columns, two rows, two columns, two rows, two columns. So overall, we can see that the shape is 2 by 3 by 2 by 2. 
and all our numbers are there. Finally, let's print our third reshape TensorFlow example. This is the Python variable tfx tree reshape tensor 1 by 24. Awesome. We see that it's a vector that's 24 elements long. So we see the number 1 all the way to 24. So all our numbers are there. Perfect. We were able to use TensorFlow reshape to change the shape of a TensorFlow tensor as long as the number of elements stayed the same.